Greetings, my unbelievable Vcon Connect, V family all over the world. This is your Wednesday message. Welcome to week number nine. All right, exciting week. The first week of Rang and Wansman, month two. So please, guys, wake up. Uh, month three, wake up, smell the coffee, and start now. Don't wait for the last week. Procrastination is worse than cancer, as Dato Sri Vijay says. So wake up, smell the coffee, and push it. All right, starting today, week nine, the first week of Rang Advancement Month three, guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am because in less than twelve days, woo, we can connect. You're gonna see this gorgeous face, this sexy body live anywhere in the world, whether you're in Africa, Europe, Middle East, RCIS, Asia, wherever you are. You're gonna see the great ones, Japras Bismarck, and the one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwar, live in your living room, in your car, on your mobile, wherever you are, guys. Vicon Connect 2021, 14, 15, 16 March is gonna be the biggest event in network marketing history. So this is your chief telling you, it's not a choice. It's a necessity. You want to max out? Come to Vicon. You want to be a warrior? Come to Vicon. You want to be a success story in the V? Come to Vicon. All right, and we are coming to you this time. So VCC 2021. Register. Get your ticket. No freaking excuses. No visa. No airline required. No hotel. Nothing. Just a data package, mobile phone, and you will coming be coming back home. To your grand apply in the V, the only place you will see Japaras Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay Ishwar inspire, uplift, and help you rise higher and higher and higher at VCC. All right, so I want to see you there. No excuses. Now, guys, this Wednesday message. All right, I've been thinking so much of the industry, and I wanted to share with you. I was talking to a production group earlier about this reality today. And uh, you think about it. Dato Sri Vijay always told me this story about history, and I completely forgot about it until today when I was talking to a production crew making videos for QNet. Now, if you think about it, if you go back in history, you go back and back and back and back and back in history. All right, there was no such thing as a job. Dato Sri Vijay told me, and it's so true. There was no such thing as a job. The only concept of survival was entrepreneurship. Of course, back then it was on a smaller scale that people would plant anything in 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 a small piece of land. They would learn how to be a, a smith, you know, a metal smith. Okay, they would learn how to sell anything, right? Because there was no employment, there was no concept of go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home. You either beg on the streets, farm for yourself, or sell. Your produce or whatever you created, pottery, whatever services, all right, in order to basically earn additional money. So the world of humanity, society, started with this concept of entrepreneurship, and then the human race evolved and evolved, and the industrial revolution started, and factories started. Businesses started, and they needed employees. And every entrepreneur who was not reasonably succeeding, every entrepreneur who wasn't making much money, every entrepreneur who was struggling to survive in the realm of entrepreneurship, all ran to get a job. That's the reality. And when they ran and get a job, they lost. That hunger of survival, they lost any form of hunger they had, and they fell into a pathetic comfort zone that you belong to before you signed up in QNet and took it seriously. And that comfort zone completely transformed their mindset from entrepreneur survival, rise or die, to hey, get a job, and some moron is going to pay you a little bit of money. To make him or her richer and richer and richer, but the problem is this mentality of job mentality 
transform the human race or the majority of the human race and passed it down to us. That means the only thing you saw every day of your life was everyone in your family, everyone you knew. Go to work, come back home, 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 go to work, come back home. And that translated to a subconscious programming in your mind that this is what you're supposed to do. And the education system in the past was to teach people a skill so they could be an entrepreneur. And that education system collapsed and the new education system today is to teach you how to be an employee, a slave. Go to work, get a good degree. Do you remember all this? And I was thinking today, it's so sad, but now there's hope. Because that cycle of entrepreneurship collapsed into the world of industrial revolution. I remember the story by Dr. Srivijay. That if you look at your family tree, your great, 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 great grandfather onwards, were all entrepreneurs. And then it deteriorated to all of us saying, yes sir, no sir, three bags full. You understand? Give me my salary, thank you, and go and be broke. And you think about this. But now there's hope because with the pandemic that's happened around the world, the concept of employment has collapsed because people know that jobs are unreliable right think about it there were people who were planning their lives for the next 50 years with their children's education holidays vacations based on a secured salary they assume were going to come every month for the rest of their life with promotions and suddenly just for a tiny thing called the virus boom gone your services are no longer required and they get fired and they're not firing junior people i know friends of mine who never embraced network marketing with me morons who are now senior people in big companies who lost their jobs guys and they are starting to realize that entrepreneurship is the safest concept and you need to realize that and and that means the world has come from entrepreneurship, industrial revolution, everyone getting a job and surviving and go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home and be a slave and boom, pandemic. And it's coming back to entrepreneurship. That trust me, in the next 10 years, we are going to see the highest rise in the common working class community or society that is going to transfer themselves to a form of entrepreneurship whether making cookies and selling online or doing tuition classes on zoom for children or direct selling network marketing e-commerce based network marketing like us qnet that's the future now that means the number of people that are waiting all right for you to approach them is unbelievable so here's the challenge you don't believe this that somewhere along the line in your moronic mind and I'm saying this with love you think that this pandemic is going to disappear the world is going to come back to normal and you just do presentation and pray that your checks go up no you got to go and get it with that belief and you need to be able to transfer this belief to the people around you and I'm excited, I'm going crazy messaging people about QNET. I have done more presentations in the last 12 months than I've done in the last 12 years. Alright, because I believe that this is the time. And I've said it even last week, the week before, and I'm telling you again, please, wake up, smell the coffee. This is the time, but you need to believe this. And I'm worried that you don't. I'm worried that you don't have that absolute belief that you are at the right time, right place, right industry, right company, right family of Dato Sri Vijayeshwar. That I don't think you believe that this is the greatest moment for you. 
and I'm afraid from the bottom of my heart that you're going to waste this moment. There is no greater moment and you need to believe this. 100% guys, that this is your time to make Max Out possible. That every moron who has been struggling with the concept of achieving Max Out, which is supposedly not easy to achieve, all right? This is the year where I predict, and I was telling Dato Sri Vijay this, all right? That as Dato Sri, you put me there as the upline for the whole world, and I am telling you this year, we will see the highest number of max out kings and queens in the history of QNET and I've proven it. The last eight weeks, we have already seen the highest number of new and consistent max outs ever in QNET history. Because this is the time. Now what are you waiting for? Now you need to achieve that belief which I hope I'm saying with enough passion that this is your time. Whether you are brand new, sign up, you've been around for 10 years, this is your time to rise. And I'm emotional because I don't want you to waste this moment. I had this moment in 1998 and I grabbed it. And I'm sitting here and I'm repeating this again to you. But your belief must be absolute. Your belief must be so absolute. And now you must transfer that belief to others. See, Dato Sri Vijay told me from day one that nothing is going to take you to max out except absolute belief. And today I was talking to him on the phone and we were talking about the early days and he was guiding me about what to do today and I could sense, with no doubt, I could feel the belief in Dato Sri Vijay's voice. That he knows the decision he made in 1998 was the best decision ever. And right now, I need you to believe. You need to believe that this works. You need to believe that this is the best company ever, that this is the best industry ever. And you need to believe that this is the best time ever for you to build. And now you got to transfer that belief to your people. Because if you look at your whole organization left and right, yes, you transfer passion, you transfer inspiration, you transfer knowledge. You do trainings. But the only thing that truly will sustain the growth of your organization is belief. And not fake belief. Real belief. And people have asked me over the years, why am I still here after 22 years? And my answer is very simple. I believe. I believe that there's no greater industry, no greater company than QNET, no greater grand uplines like Japadas, Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay. I believe in our vision of rhythm, raise yourself to help mankind. I believe because I've seen with my own two eyes the thousands and millions of lives we have touched with our products, with our commission, with Max Out. I believe because I've seen the hopeless find hope. I believe because I've seen morons sit down in my trainings who didn't even understand the difference between an apple and a mango and today are max out kings and queen and inspire thousands on their stages. I believe because this business doesn't discriminate on race, religion, creed. And as long as your blood is red, you belong in this family. I believe because I've seen in 22 years the great battles Dato Sri and Japa has fought leading us from in front and the victories we have achieved. That just when even I had doubt whether we would succeed, they would prove me wrong and we would succeed. That you are a product of our belief that this business is not about technical or tactical. This business is about emotion, it comes from your heart. That with belief alone, this year we will change history. We will create history, guys. But you've got to believe that this is your time. 
I want to say this to you. From the bottom of my heart, don't make the mistake of missing that moment that everything is perfect for you to rise. This is your time to shine. I love you guys.